Hello everyone and welcome to Niche, a genetic survival game. This is a game that I've had on my radar for a little while. And I got offered a code recently by the developer. He's like, hey do you want to play this? I'm like, yeah sure, that looks cool. And it's going to be coming out on September the 21st. So that's pretty close. So, let's play a bit of Niche. And let's see if it's something that you might like one to, uh, that you might like to have as well. We'll be starting a new game here. And we'll be playing through the story mode. I'll just call it YouTube. There is also sandbox mode, which is previously what has been like recorded for YouTube by other people. And that is actually what has got me interested in the game. But yeah, you can you can just do sandbox if you wish, but we're gonna be having a look at story mode. We will be experiencing the story of Adam. Recommended for new players. Should have a tutorial included as well. Let's go! Shall we? And we get a lovely little intro cinematic here with a beautiful art style. And there we have our little tribe. Food aplenty! The younglings playing in the fields. But all is not well in the animal kingdom. We're not dead, so that's good, right? Nature can be cruel like that. Just look at those, those little, little, little puppy eyes. Aww. All alone. Ouch! That hurts. Look around. They're all alone. Stranded on an island far away from home. Try and see if you can still walk. Click on Adam and then click on a blue paw to move. Alright, we'll move over there. It seems you are not injured. That's good news. It's been a long day. Time to get some sleep. Click on the end day button at the top of the screen. Or you can press space. And there we go, we get a little day night cycle going around. The world looks brighter today. Time to explore this new place. Tip, use your mouse wheel or R and F. All that stuff. That's all good, so we can have a look around. We are on a small island. But it looks like there is a way out, so that's good. We do have a little bush here. Now that bush has berries on it. We can harvest those berries. Mmm, tasty berries. A great source of nutrition. Collecting more and building up a reserve sure would be helpful. Your current food count is displayed in the bottom right corner of the screen, right here. There's some other indicators, like how many animals are in your pack, I believe. And these are nest building materials. We also have a ton of information over here, which tells us everything we might want to know about Adam. Well, maybe not everything, but a good amount of it. We can see his speed, how far he can move with one action. And what attributes to that? We can see swimming, how well he can swim. How good he is at collecting food from berry bushes or other things. His strength, how much damage he can do with one attack. He has poisonous fangs, if you can like look at him here. They do follow your mouse cursor, which is cool, but it does lead to some weird things like... Being able to... Yeah, that doesn't look quite natural, but all power to you for doing it. Later on you'll have like a large pack if you so choose. Might not be the best way to go about survival. And they'll all have their heads turning around. We'll also see how fertile he is, which is very important. Immunity. Eyesight, all that stuff. There's a lot of information here. We'll continue harvesting some more berries. We do want a bit of food stored up after all. Good morning Adam. Looks like there's some more berries over there. Let's move up here. And we'll continue harvesting some food. This island seems to be deserted. 
A pathway of stones leads to another island in the distance. Maybe it's time to leave this place. So you want to move Adam to the flower port and interact with the pointy travel stone right there. That's how you move between islands. We'll get a bit more food from for the journey. Ooh, that's a little that's an interesting bush. And there we go, Adam has been growing steadily. He is now six days old. He's reached the age level of adult, which means he's got three pips. Three actions that he can do every day, which is kind of neat. Unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have to make our way through some reeds here, which might get a little bit complicated. What do we have here? We've got... Oh, those plants are nest building materials. Interesting. We can see that there's a clearing here. And we can move to that. That's good. Unfortunately, checking out that one bush did take a lot of our actions here. And it's raining. And plants will regrow. That's good. So we can't actually permanently destroy anything. Or at least it doesn't seem like it. That's good. We'll go and end the day once again. And then we'll have some interaction with this pointy travel stone. All animals on the port fields migrate to another island. Animals outside the port leave the tribe and will be gone forever. Yeah, sure, we've got nobody holding us back right now. So that is a mechanic that lets you pick and choose which tribe members you would like to bring to the next island. Which, you know, you may want to have some people that are well suited to where you'll be going. For example, if you're going to a hot island, you might want to bring someone with good hot resistance. Of course, there are some traits that you might want to breed in. And you just want to bring those. Behind you, the stepping stones crumble and splash into the ocean. This island is your new home. But once again, we have a way out. If we so choose. Let's go get us some more food for now. I think that'll be a good idea. We're up to 28 food. That's pretty good. Every action you take, it does eat a bit of food. So generally, you'll want some pack members close to berry bushes or other sources of food that may be on the island. There we go. We'll move on the heights here. Let's just look around. We can clear away the high grass, which gives us more foliage and whatnot. And it gives us a small chance to find nest materials. For now, though, we'll collect some more food. There we go. We're up to 30 now. That's good. Very nice. And we do eat. You can rank tribe members. Alphas will eat first. Omegas will eat last. So that way you can sort of ration your food. If food becomes problematic. And I think starving like decreases the life expectancy a bit. You can see here on Adam. He's currently 10 days old. He doesn't have any reduction by damage. Which means like. Basically if you get into fights. And get damaged. You're not going to live as long. Because. It simulates being wounded and whatnot. I think it's pretty cool. We should have another 15 days with our friend Adam here. Although time flies pretty quickly. Ooh. We get some nuts falling down from this tree here. Now, unfortunately... Adam... He, does, he doesn't have a very high nut cracking ability. So we're not going to be able to... We're not going to be able to harvest them, really. That's a bit of a shame. That is a bit of a shame, isn't it? Uh, we'll, we'll harvest some more berries and prepare for a journey ahead. We'll have a bit of a look around the island as well. Oh, did you hear that? It sounds like another animal is living on this island. Find the wild animal and offer it food to join your tribe. Tip, you can switch your perception mode in the bottom right corner of the screen. That's a very cool part of the mechanic here. Oh, we got a little bun bun. We could hunt the bun bun if we so wished. There's also things like fish and there's like... Pretty sure there's like, um, like other seafood, not just fish, that you can like try to eat. So there's a lot of diversity in what you can eat. And of course, there's a lot of different treats that will allow you to adapt to such food sources. But let's go and have a look at the different perception mode, shall we? We were using sight. Now we're using smell. And we can smell that there is something over here. Is it a bush? Is it nest materials? 
we'll have to find out. We can also use hearing. And this will allow us to check out a lot of other things. Like, I believe these are like moles. They're buried. It was a good little bun buns. And then there's the wild animals. That's who we're looking for. Hopefully she's not hostile. Let's end the day here. You did not move. That's good. Let's move over here. The bunnies will move whichever we move. We have found Eve. Hello, Eve. Can't see you very well on the high grass there, but that's fine. We also have... Yeah, that's a mole burrow. Cool. Let's clear that. There we go. Now we can see better. They should come out of that eventually, but we found ourselves a female. Let's offer her five food to join our tribe. There we go. The animal you found is a female called Eve. Now you can explore the island together. Yay. And Eve over here is not quite as fast. She's better at swimming, apparently. And she's very good at catching fish. Oh, my. You've got a fishing tail. Interesting. You also have a digging paw. Allows you to dig open empty fields to gain resources. Very interesting. Let's try and get you next to the water here. And we'll clear away some high grass. But yeah, that's cool. We can randomly find people with different genes and try to introduce them into a tribe. Adam and Eve seem to like each other. Maybe it's time to start a family together. Move your animals together and mate. So this is where the second part of niche comes in. Mating. There we go. Soon your animals will become parents and brace the next generation. Tip. Your animals grow older and die one day. You can check their age in the bottom left corner after clicking on them. So yeah, that's right here. We've got 12 days left with our good friend Adam here. It's still a fair while. Now, I don't think we have a nest around here. Which is interesting. Let's cut away some more grass here. And you... We'll cut away some high grass here, and then we'll root. We'll dig up ground to find some food. And I believe it might consume the tile, so we can't use it again. I'm not 100% sure on that. But we'll go and end the day. And it rains, so things regrow. Got some people peeking out, that's fine. Oh, there's a fish right there, isn't there? Yes. How good are you at breathing on the water? I'm not sure. We can open up your genetic tree here. We don't have any offspring yet. You will see them over here. We can have a look at all the things you have. Like, you're good at swimming, but I'm not sure how good you are at breathing. That's the thing. Underwater. There's a lot of stats here. Yeah, you don't have the ability to breathe underwater. I'm glad I checked. Adam here doesn't have that either. But he's got resistance to poison, and he's pretty stealthy. Oh, we could build a nest. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, of course, with the nest building materials. But I think it's time to move to another island. We will be adventurous. And let's travel. I don't think that's a very good island to stay on. It's pretty small. Not small enough for the two of us, but there we go. And we've been offered... Two possible ways to go. Alright then. Oh, you've got a parasite? Oh no. You're being drained by a leech. Groom them to get rid of it. Yes, let's go do that. And that gets us a bit of food. Oh god, I'm so sorry, Eve. Let's clear away some of the grass here. I think that'll be a good idea. And we'll put Adam there so he can interact with the berry bush. And then we'll see if we can catch some fish with Eve. Speaking of which, Eve... You could build a nest here. Let's go do that. 
Oh, well, we can then destroy the nest if we are running low on materials. Oh, that's cool. Let's have Adam harvest some berries for us. We'll cut away the high foliage so that we can always see the berry bush very clearly. There might be some nest materials over there. Good. And we've got some moles over there. Interesting. Right. Well, we're going to end the turn here so that Eve can hopefully give birth to her first little young one. Isn't that great? A new baby has been born. What's your name, little one? Eve, could you move away so that I can... Kirvan! There we go. Welcome, young one. You're being warmed up by your pack. That's great. Yeah, I've got a little shell over there. I think that's something we can do. Oh, I didn't mean to move you in the water. Looks like you can still breathe, though, so that's good. I just meant to, like, deselect you. We will attack the gold leech. Oh, that's... Oh, yeah. I thought that was a fish, but it's the leech. I'm not sure if we can do anything with those clams. We might be able to break them open, like we could break open a nut from, like, the trees. That's interesting. But we have a new baby now. Great. We will live on. Our legacy has been passed down. That's good. Let's clear out some more grass. And we'll get Eve back on land next turn. Oh, there's a crab right there. Can we do anything with the crab? I wonder. We can attack it. And uh, no, we'll, we'll get you back on solid land. I don't think the crab will attack us. Hopefully. Oh, you're too young to collect food. That's fine. We'll just focus on getting some more food. Like, we eat a good amount of food per turn now. And things like breeding and whatnot do consume extra food. We'll go ahead and mate once again. We'll go get Kirvan, who is now old enough to collect. But it can only collect one. You're going to go and start adventuring a little bit for us. You're going to start cutting away some of the... Uh, the high grass. High grass gives you cover, but it also means you can't really see anything. And I don't think there's any predators around yet, so we should be good. We're also going to move Eve back on the nest so we can get some more young ones. Hurrah, we've got another one. Look at us go. We've got ourselves Vanu. Decent at catching fish. We're all very fertile, which is very important, obviously. Now, we do have some regrowing high grass in places. So we do have to keep that in mind. Oh, hello. Mamere. Another wild animal. Should probably keep a better, like, eye on our sites and our other places. Yeah, we will offer you five food to join our tribe as well. Huzzah. And you have even different looks. Look at that. Wow. What's that? You've got a spiky body, apparently. And you are good at cracking stuff. Oh, that's great. Yeah, you're also scentless, apparently. So people can't smell you. Ooh. That's even more interesting. So there's a lot of different traits you can get in this game. Like, as this basically demonstrates... You will get some genetic diversity, and you can, like, pick and mix what you think would be best. It rains once again. Things regrow. I think the nest is broken now. Oh, my. Yeah, let's get little Vanu over here. Let's move you into the safety of our pack. Do we repair the nest? I think we'll... Yeah, we'll repair it. It takes three materials. We'll mate one more time. Actually, you are a female as well. Ooh. But you are infested by a leech. One of your animals is a parasite. Remove it by grooming. Yeah, let's get rid of that. I don't want people to be fed on. That's a, that seems like a bad idea. You can also mate. There we go. You can dig up the seafloor to find food. I don't think we found anything, but it's the principle that matters. Oh no, Eve can do it. Eve also didn't find anything. Okay. 
Not very successful finding seafood. Let's attack the stag mole, yeah. Neat, we just killed ourselves a mole. We're, we're surviving, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. You have very interesting fur. Rekosi. I don't think you can move yet. But that's fine. We'll move Eve along the coast here. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a predatorial big fish. I think. Let's dig up the seafloor a little bit. Oh, I didn't want to move you in the water. Oh, that might be bad. Uh, Adam. Get us some more berries, please. Because we need to make sure that we're still on top of our food supply here. Now we can collect a heap of meat with Kirvan. It's a bit of extra food. Oh, wow. That's a good amount of food, actually. There we go. Uh, check the other senses. I think we're fine. There might be some nest materials buried here. Oh, that's cool. Not sure how we can smell that, but... Let's have a further look around with our other people here. Ah, there we go. Rakosi is a female. The mare is getting quite old as well. I want to move you on a nest so that you can at least pass on your genes. Yeah, we need 10 materials to make a nest. That's ridiculous. Uh, we'll end the day here. We don't have to take all our actions, but it's generally a good idea. Does someone have a parasite again? I don't think so. We'll double check anyway. Just because I don't want to risk it, you know? Uh, let's get you out of the water. That seems like a great idea. You're actually faster in the water than in the land. That's... Wow. We found a new berry bush, though. Keeping an eye open here for any potential predators. But I think this will be a good place to leave it for now. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. I find this to be an interesting game. Hopefully, uh, you agree with me. Oh, I think we just found another nest here. Yeah. That's good. That'll allow us to settle in there. So that Mamere can give birth next episode. There we go. Yeah, hopefully you're enjoying it. If you are, don't forget to leave a like and perhaps a comment down below. It really helps, especially with a new series like Niche. And yeah, subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I will catch you all next time. Until then, have a good one, folks.